Chapter 7, Learning Objective 2. Explain and journalize petty cash transactions. A petty cash fund is a small amount of cash kept on hand to reimburse individuals for small, infrequent expenses paid for on behalf of the company. It's usually kept in a locked box, which is accessible only by the petty cash custodian. That's the individual who is responsible and accountable for the fund. There are two main steps involved in accounting for petty cash transactions. In step one, a check is prepared for the amount of the petty cash fund, which is cashed by the petty cash custodian to initiate the fund. For example, a check for $200 is issued to establish a petty cash fund with a journal entry that debits the petty cash account for $200 and credits cash for $200. Petty cash is a current asset and is combined with cash on the balance sheet. Throughout the period, reimbursements from petty cash are made to individuals, again for small, infrequent purchases made on behalf of the company. These purchases are supported by external receipts obtained by the employee at the time of the purchase and submitted to the custodian for reimbursement. The receipts typically marked paid and dated so it can't be reused. In step two, the petty cash must be periodically reconciled and replenished. At any point in time, the petty cash amount should consist of cash and the supporting receipts, and when totaled together, the sum should equal the petty cash fund amount. For example, assume that the petty cash custodian has receipts totaling $190 and $10 in coin and currency remaining in the cash box. The sum of $190 plus $10 equals $200 and is balanced to the fund amount. The receipts consist of $100 for delivery charges, $35 for postage, and $5 for office supplies. The custodian submits the receipts to the accountant who issues a check and records an entry that debits delivery expense, postage expense, and an office supplies asset or expense account for $100, $35, and $55 respectively. The total equals $190, so cash is credited by $190 to replenish the fund. The custodian receives the reimbursement of the check of $190 in exchange for the cancelled receipts. The check is then cashed and the proceeds are used to replenish the petty cash fund. And the petty cash is now replenished to $200, $10 in remaining cash and coin, plus the $190 check proceeds. Sometimes a petty cash fund may not balance properly. Let's assume that the petty cash custodian has receipts of $190 but only $8 in coin and currency remaining in the petty cash box. The total is now $198 instead of the correct amount of $200, resulting in a cash shortage of $2. As before, the receipts consist of $100 for delivery charges, $35 for postage, and $55 for office supplies. The custodian submits the receipts to the accountant who issues a check and records an entry with the same debits to delivery, postage, and office supplies accounts, but now includes a debit to a cash over short account for $2. The amount required to replenish the fund is now $192, and that's the amount that's credited to cash. If the petty cash coin and currency was only $14 instead of $8, then there would be a cash overage of $4. Remember, $14 in cash plus $190 in receipts equals $204. And the journal entry would be very similar, again with the same debits to delivery, postage, and office supplies accounts, but this time, instead of a debit to cash over short for $2, we have a credit for $4 and the remaining credit to cash of $186. The custodian now cashes the reimbursement check of $186 to replenish the fund, and the total petty cash is now $14 plus $186 for a total of $200. To reduce the risk of theft, petty cash may need to be decreased if the amount of cash in the fund is excessive for the company's needs. For example, assume that there are receipts of $110 and $90 in coin and currency. The fund is balanced at $200, 90 in coin plus 110 in receipts. The receipts consist of $80 for delivery charges and $30 for postage. The receipts are submitted along with the request that the petty cash fund be reduced from $200 down to $125 or by $75. The entry is recorded with debits to delivery and postage expense for $80 and $30 respectively, a credit of $75 to reduce the fund, and a net credit to cash of $35 to replenish the fund to the lower amount now of $125. Alternatively, the petty cash fund could also be increased, but care should be taken 
to ensure that the petty cash fund does not become too large, which increases the risk of theft. Consider that the fund should only be for reimbursements of infrequent types of expenses, not day-to-day items.